Everyone keeps saying that there's no more data analyst jobs, as if the market just dried up overnight. But let me ask you this, if there's no more data analyst jobs, why are there over 300,000 open positions on LinkedIn right now? Because here's a part that no one wants to admit. The game didn't end, the rules just changed. And most people, they didn't get the memo. They're still applying like it's still the mass hiring days of the pandemic. Get a quick certificate, slap it on your resume, and wait for the job offers to roll in. That's not how it works anymore. And if you're still doing that, you're gonna stay stuck overlooked and underpaid. But in this video, I'm going to break down the three hard truths behind what's actually happening in the data analyst job market, why it's not oversaturated, just misunderstood, and how you can shift your strategy today so you can land a data analyst role even in this competitive landscape. If this is your first time here, my name is Kadisha. I used to deliver pizzas and now I deliver insights as a self-taught data scientist and I've coached thousands of other career changers on how to break into data analytics without going back to school and without wasting the time and thousands of dollars on courses that just don't work. And if you ever want to work one-on-one -on -one with me to land your first data role in the next six months, click the link in the description so we can start working together. Now let's dive in. Truth number one, the game has changed. Let's have a real conversation. Remember 2020? Remote jobs were exploding. Companies were desperate. You can take a basic cert, build one average dashboard and land a data role with a halfway decent LinkedIn headline. But that era is over. And this isn't just me speculating. I talk to hiring managers every week and they're telling me the same thing. We don't have a shortage of applicants, but we have a shortage of qualified talent. They're seeing thousands of resumes, but most of them all look the same. Copy and paste buzzwords, generic project links, no storytelling, no edge. But now the market is more competitive and more mature. So hiring managers are no longer just asking, hey, do you just know SQL? They're asking, hey, can you handle real world data? But let's be honest. Let's talk about what real data is. It's messy, incomplete, and ugly. Not those Kaggle data sets where everything's tidy and labeled like a textbook example. If you freeze up at the moment when you see null values, duplicates, or mismatched categories, that's a problem because cleaning data and preparing for that mess that's the job. And it doesn't stop there. Let's talk about dashboards that I typically see on portfolios. They're crowded, they're cluttered, 10 random charts on the page, no story, no direction. That's not a dashboard. That is a data dump. But most people are thinking that throwing a few dashboards into Tableau or Power BI is enough. It's not because data visualization is not data storytelling. And if your visuals don't lead to action, they're just noise. But the people getting hired now, they know how to clean data, build insight-driven dashboards, but most importantly, communicate clearly. They ask the right questions, they guide decisions, and they show value. If you're still relying on quick certificates and cookie cutter projects, you're not just behind, you're invisible. You need to build real skills, real projects. You need to think like an analyst, not just pretend to be like one. And that means knowing how to deal with messy data, how to communicate insights, and how to design dashboards that just generally speak for themselves. That's the difference between being qualified on paper and being the one who actually gets hired. So yes, the standard has changed, but guess what? You can meet it. You just need to stop shortcutting and start showing proof. Truth number two. The talent gap is real. Let me say something that might surprise you. The job market isn't short on roles. It's actually short on talent that stands out. Every week I hear from hiring managers and what they're saying isn't, hey, we need more resumes. It's, we need candidates who can actually do the job from day one. But here's the problem. Most applicants are all talk and no proof. They've taken the same courses, built one dashboard or two, but there's no storytelling, no depth, and no edge. They all say they know SQL, but can you actually explain what a join is and why you need it in the first place? They build dashboards that look like cluttered art projects, 10 charts, zero insights. They list Python on their resume, but couldn't automate a report if their life depended on it. And that's why they're getting ghosted. Now, the people who are actually getting hired, they're not just checking the boxes, they're actually building the top 1% skills. They know how to take messy data and turn it into clean, automated processes. They build end-to-end -end projects, real-world stuff that mirrors business challenges, and they create consulting-style slide decks that speak clearly to stakeholders. They get real experience, even if it means freelancing or volunteering. And because they show and not just tell, 
they stand out and they rise to the top of the applicant pile. Then they get offers. So if you've been applying and hearing nothing, it doesn't mean you're not good enough. It just means you're not showing up with clarity, communication, or just a level that companies are looking for. And if you want to close the gap, stop obsessing with how many tools listed on your resume and start focusing on what you've actually done with them. Because companies aren't hiring tools, they're hiring problem solvers People who can walk into chaos, clean the data, find the story, and drive better decisions. And that's what makes you valuable. Not a certificate, not a 100% completion bash from some online course, proof. And once you get that right, once you get your projects to reflect real-world thinking, once your visuals guide decisions, and once your resume screams impact instead of activity, that's when the market opens up, and that's when you stop getting ghosted, and that's when you start getting interviews and actually land somewhere. So no, it's not a shortage of jobs. It's a shortage of people willing to go beyond the surface-level skills. And if you're willing to do that, you'll be in demand even in this crowded job market. Truth number three, you're looking at the wrong job titles. Let me hit you with something most job seekers don't realize. Data analyst is just one label. There are dozens of roles that need analyst skills, but they have completely different names. So if you're just searching for data analysts on job boards, you're leaving money and opportunity on the table. You're ignoring titles like business intelligence analyst, reporting specialist, business intelligence engineer, analytics engineer, product analyst, operations analyst, insights manager, analytics consultant, even marketing analyst or revenue analyst. And that's just a few. Same skills, same stack, same dashboards, different keywords. I've seen people get hired into roles with the exact same tools and projects that they had before. All they did was switch up the job titles that they searched for. Here's an example. I work with someone who came from logistics didn't even bother with data analyst postings. She went after process analyst roles because she could highlight how she streamlined workflows and improved operations. Same skills, different angle. She got hired and she got a raise. So if your job search feels dry, stop refreshing the same search every day and start learning how to read between the lines. Because once you expanded your keyword strategy, your entire job pipeline opens up. Now let's bring it home. So you've been told the data analyst job market is dead. It's not. So what's really happening? The bar is higher. Most people aren't meeting it. And you've been looking at the wrong places. But now you know the truth. And if you're still here, that tells me one thing. You're not afraid of doing what actually works. You're ready to stop guessing and start moving with strategy. So if you want to dive deeper into the exact steps my students use to land interviews and land data analyst jobs without going back to school and wasting money on another boot camp, click the link in the description. You'll get instant access to my free training and details on how we can work together. It's not too late. Now let's make your move your best move.